Hi, I'm Stephen Horn. If you're not familiar with me, I'm a professional herbalist, an iridologist, a natural healer. Uh, I made my living teaching people about how to get well without drugs and surgery and how to heal their emotions and their lives. And it's my passion to want to help people and empower them with knowledge that makes their lives better. Now, one area that I have dabbled in a little bit, but have kind of stayed away from, has to do with um, politics and also religion, which are two subjects which are really touchy for most people. I happen to be very tolerant of other viewpoints in religion and pol politics, even though I have very firm beliefs. But there are things that have been happening in the last two years that have made me want to kind of share my perspective on what is going on in the world. Not only share my perspective of what's going on in the world from my own personal insight and experience, but also share it from a biblical, prophetic um, viewpoint, and also from what I have seen from some modern Christian prophets who have made some very interesting messages that actually changed me around. Uh, when I was dabbling in talking about this before, and I do have some videos up on YouTube about it, um, I was infected with what I would think of a, a doom and gloom virus. Um, the mindset that, you know, things are bad, that, you know, America's ripe for destruction, that all these, you know, horrible things are going to happen and get prepared and dig in and so forth. Something happened just a little over two years ago that woke me up and made me realize that this was not the right way to be looking at things. I really thought about this, especially when I realized, you know, the word gospel means good news. And preaching doom and gloom is not good news. Preaching hellfire and damnation is not good news. And I realized I should know better, that the divine power of God is more powerful than all the evil in the world. And that what we should be teaching is a message of hope. We should be helping people see the good, see the positive, and affirm and believe in and have faith in the positive. And that gradually started to turn around and I started to change my entire attitude. And as I changed my attitude, the things I had previously looked at and tried to explain about uh, biblical prophecy actually came alive even more because I realized that we live in a day and age when there is a very, very powerful, positive change taking place in the world. It, it is a positive change. It is a change that is going to really be amazing. And I want to talk about that. Uh, I want to talk about how this relates, um, again, to biblical prophecy. I want to talk about the, the Christian prophets I listened to that you know woke me up and made me realize that I needed to get out of the doom and gloom mindset and into the positive and hopeful mindset and the reasons why that's important. And so I, I've been contemplating this actually for over a year and a half. Um, as this shift has been taking place inside of me, I kept thinking I should probably be sharing this with people, but how do I share it with people and, and what, do I, what do I tell them? Well, I had a dream the other night in which um, I had this message that a certain part of Isaiah was being fulfilled right now. And I've long time been a student of Isaiah. In fact, I did a webinar series going just through the book of Isaiah and talking about um, uh, passages in Isaiah and helping people understand how to, how to read Isaiah and understand Isaiah. And I went back and read um, some of those chapters in Isaiah and there was this whole new just flood of understanding, insight, and positivity, positivity, really a very positive, hopeful, uplifting message. And that's what I want to share with you. I want to share with you this good news, this prophetic good news, to insight into the fact that, yes, we live in a turbulent time. Yes, there's a lot of division in our country, but there is something that God is doing that is going to come out of this that is going to be absolutely wonderful. And so if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about this, please um, sign up for this series. If you can't make the live broadcast, um, which will be broadcast on this Webinar Jam platform as well as on um, YouTube, the recordings will be posted on YouTube on a special playlist. Um, I'll send you an email so you have the link to know where the recordings are and watch it. You'll be able to make comments 
on the YouTube page, even if you um, you know aren't able to get on the webinar and interact with me on the webinar. And I'm not doing this because I'm trying to like uh, convince you I'm right and that other people are wrong, but just because I want to share my viewpoint because it's so positive, because it's so because there's so much hope. It, it's get, what I've learned has given me so much hope. Whereas before, I had hope, but not to the extent that I have it now. So if you're interested in, hear, in hearing this good news, this, this, these ideas that have transformed me in the last couple of years, then um, sign up and I look forward to sharing this with you.